Hello, this is Dom from Black Toad Studios and welcome to episode 6 of the Awakening of the Todak Dynasty. In this series it will document the gradual growth of my Necron force into a true Necron Legion ready to take on any opponent in an Apocalypse game. So we are on episode 6. Um, I've had a quick layout of the Necron Force, uh, which we'll see in a moment, and we're just over 4,000 points, guys, so we are gradually getting there. Um, we've also got a lot more to go in the uh, near future. We have a little change in the next few episodes of the series. Uh, normally, I let you guys pick what's going to be next in the Todek Dynasty, and uh, I appreciate what you guys have done so far. However, I have signed myself up to my first tournament of 2021. <gasps> Normally on these events I would be probably taking chaos. However, I think it's only fair that the Necrons have an outing. And so I have designed myself a 2000 point uh, Necron army with uh, Mephrit Dynasty. Uh, so there's a few things I need to paint um, to get the army up to scratch. However, on a previous episode, I did give you guys a, the chance to, to pick the next unit to be painted. Um, it, was a, it was a tie down the middle. Um, so, I'm going to be painting both units. So, I am painting 10 more Necron Warriors with the uh, Gorse Reapers and a Plans Mansa, which coincides a little bit with my tournament list. So, I will be having a big a uh, unit of 20 warriors, in fact two units of 20 warriors, so I'm going to be painting warriors for a little while yet. Uh, I'm going to try and mix it up with some other things just to keep it interesting, um, but all these things will be going into my Necron list for my uh, tournament, which is taking part in a couple of months time. So without further ado guys, let's have a quick look at what I've painted over the last couple of weeks. So here we are, here are the reanimators. Um, they're quite interesting models um, to put together, also to paint. Uh, however, I haven't played them in a game yet, so I don't know how good they are in game or how they particularly play. Uh, on paper, they look quite fun, um, but in reality, who knows? So with this one here, I kept with the same kind of scheme. So it looks kind of rust and wear on the legs. Uh, a bit of brass and weathering on like the uh, carapace armor there. Um, we've got like, the nice blue around the weapons and the engine in there. On the base, kept it pretty simple. A couple of little tufts there. We've used like a desert scheme on there. Uh, and we've got like a red with a bit of a dry brush of an orange there for a little bit of rust. Um, yeah, so both exactly the same. Slight differences uh, as the paint's kind of dried on both of these. So this one here, the blue's a bit deeper on the uh, further parts of the orbs there. And yeah, quite quite nice. Um, it's a nice contrast compared to the other models I've done. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what the bigger ones are like to glue and uh, paint up. But yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're good supporting units for my warriors. Uh, looking forward to playing them in a game, um, and uh, I think that's about it really I can say on these guys. Uh, I haven't used them yet, so if you've got any ideas how to use them, um, put them in the comments below. But without further ado, let's go and have a look uh, at the overall force of the Todak Dynasty. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Todak Dynasty as it stands in March 2021. And uh, yeah, it's quite a nice force. I uh, hope you'll agree. Uh, we've had a few additions since the series has started. Of course, we had uh, quite a nice Necron army before. Um, we're currently standing at about 4,200 points of Necrons so far for the Pterodaki Dynasty. Uh, we've painted a few units in this army that have uh, joined up. Let's run through really the new additions. So we've got this little scarab basis down the bottom here. We have got the destroyers here. We then have the uh, Scorpic Destroyer Lord there. Um, we have got, what else is new? Uh, the 10 warriors down here with the Reapers. Uh, we also have the Royal Warden there. Uh, we also have the two reanimators at the back there. 
as you know we will be adding in another squad of 10 warriors so we'll make this into a 20 man blob um, we'll have the plasmancer as well that's going to be joining this force uh, so it's starting to take shape as an apocalypse army uh, it's my birthday coming up soon in april so fingers crossed um, I will be getting some more Necron goodies then. Um, potentially some bits to go towards a future event that I will be taking part in. But uh, I, yeah, I like this army so far. It's taking a good bit of space up on a 6x4. Um, we really need some bigger things at the back there to kind of add in a bit of weight for the Necron army. We've got a nice assault kind of area here. We've got lots of wraiths coming in. We've got several, uh, we've got several lots of... Uh, Lich Guard there, we've got some Destroyers, uh, of course we've got this guy here, uh, Def himself. So this army is starting to take shape, lots of assault, need some bigger guns, we need some big boy guns. Any suggestions guys, let me know in the comments below. But yes, very proud of this army so far, um, well done me, pat on the back, good job. So let's have a look to see what the rest of my plans are for the next Ron Dynasty. So there we are guys, that is the Todak Dynasty uh, in March 2021. And uh, yeah, what a fantastic force, I, I think you'll agree. Um, got a lot more to add to it. Let's try and make it maybe double that size at some point. Fingers crossed. Um, as I said previously, what I'm going to go off do and do now is paint the uh, 10 Necron Warriors uh, with the Plasmanta and his little uh, uh, murder kegs. Uh, and then after that, I'm probably going to be doing 20 Warriors in one, one sitting. Yikes, we'll see. But first off, we have to do those 10 Warriors and the Plasmanta. So I'm going to go do those now. Um, and next time you'll see a video they will be finished and they'll be added to the force in the next episode i will go through what i think is a competitive army list um, for the todak dynasty to take to this event so until then guys and girls thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time take care